everyone. Today we are going to expand binomial expressions using the Pascal triangle. So binomial expression means there are two uh, terms inside the parentheses and it's raised to the power n. So the exponent that we have here is n. We're going to use the Pascal tri Pascal's triangle. So let's see how, how, how does a Pascal triangle look like. So we're going to start with one here. So this is um, one. To get to the next uh, part, it's gonna, we're going to form a triangle all the way down here. So it's going to be another one and one. Okay, that's, that's the next part. The next thing that I would do is one, two, and one. Now, I would, how did it get two? I put it in the middle of these two. That's the one that we write at the bottom. That means in here, all of the sides will all be one, but w uh, one plus two is three. I put that in the middle. One plus two is three. And then again, the side will always be one. So we're now forming like a triangle. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So it's gonna be one, add these two together. One plus three is four. 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and this is 1 right here. Now we do the same thing, so we get another 1, and then 1 plus uh, 4 is 5, 6 plus 4 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, and then this is another one right here. Now let's let's have one last uh, uh, um, uh, row right here. So this would be one. One plus five is six. This is 15, 20, 15, six, and one. We can do all the way down here. Um, this is what we call as a Pascal triangle. So to get the next term, we always add. So it's going to be 1, 7, and then 21, so all the rest of them. Now, let's uh, define where is our n here, or where is the exponent. So we're going to use this. Uh, these are the ones how we, uh, uh, um, how we use this. So we're, I'm going to put a line to the side over here. So we are going to use a, a specific row. It depends on what the n is. So in here, we're going to use this if we have our n is equal to 1. So if the exponent is 1, we're going to use this. If the exponent is 2, we're going to use this. If the n is 3, no, this is 0. This is 1. This is 2. And then we're going to use this if this is on the third row. So again, that's a 0. That's a 1. This is when the n is 4, this is when the n is 5, and this is when the n is 6. So if the exponent here is 5, so then we're going to use this row. So that's how this works. So if the exponent is 0, then we're going to use this row. So it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let's have an example to better understand how we expand um, uh, binomial expressions using Pascal triangle. Let's take the first example right here. So we have 4x minus 3 squared. We're supposed to expand this. I'm going to show two methods for this. The first method is the one that we already know using the uh, area model. And the one that we're going to have here is using the Pascal um, triangle. So I'm going to start here since this is a binomial. I'm going to create a 2 by 2 box. So again, this is the, using the area model. Okay, so we, we did area model in class already before. So I'm going to write here 4x and then negative 3. This is 4x and negative 3. So then I can come up with 16x squared. And then this is negative 12x, this is negative 12x, and this is a positive 9. So I am going to simplify this. Remember, we're going uh, to combine like terms, so we're going to add those two. So this would come out 16x squared minus 24x plus 9. So this is the expanded version of this um, binomial expression using the area model. So let's have here another method today. Again, we're going to use the Pascal triangle. So I wrote the Pascal triangle here. Since our n is 2, then we're going to use this uh, row right here. n is equal to 2. So we're going to write it out first. So I'm going to have 1 and then... Um, 2, 
and then one. So I just uh, wrote the numbers that I got over there. So the next thing that I would do is, okay, so let me first uh, divide this into parts so we don't get um, mixed up. So first thing, this is how we, we use the Pascal triangle. The first term that we have here will be written first. So that is 4x. So I'm going to write 4x to all of them. So that's 4x. Now the exponent here is going to go down. It's going to go down. Since the highest exponent is 2, so I'm going to start with 2. This is 1 and 0. I wrote the exponents over there. Now next, that's the first term. I'm going to have the second term, negative 3. So I will have negative 3. Then I will put negative 3 here. This is a negative 3. Now the exponent for the second term is going to go up, go the other way around. So this is 0, 1, and 2. Now at this time, we are now ready to simplify. So I'm going to have 1. 4 squared is 16x squared. And then negative 3 to the 0 is just 1. And so the next one that we have here would be 2. And then 4x to the first power is just 4x. Negative 3 to the first power is negative 3. And then 1. And then we put in 4x to the 0 is just 1. Negative 3 to the, uh, the second power. Negative 3 to negative, negative 3 is a positive 9. And so from here, we, um, we, we simplify it. We multiply 1 times 16x squared times 1 is 16x squared. And then 2 times 4x is 8x times negative 3 is negative 24x. And then 1 times 1 times 9 is a positive 9. So here we actually got the same um, expression as using the area model. Now the thing is, others are going to say, why do we have to use the Pascal triangle when we can actually use the area model? We are uh, Pascal actually discovered this triangle in order to make uh, in order to make math fast. Say for example, I have an exponent of ten. So you're gonna do the area model ten times or eight times or whatever the case may be. So it's gonna be a lot of work, and so that's how this Pascal triangle was discovered. Now let's take an actual example uh, with an exponent of six. Okay, so let's take this example right here. So uh, what are we going to do is, I, I already wrote the Pascal triangle over here. So this is the row that we're looking at when the um, exponent is 6 right there. So it's the same thing that we did with the other ones. Again, we cannot... We can still use the area model for this, but it's going to be a lot of work. There's going to be a lot of boxes that we're going to create and a lot of multiplication. Whereas if we use this one, it's going to be fast and quick. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to write these numbers here first. It's going to be, we're going to start with 1. And then we go 6 here. And then 15. Then I go 20. And then 15. 6 here, and then 1. Now the next thing that we are going to do, just like how we did it with the first part, let me um, let me separate these parts right here so we don't um, um, mix them up. So let's, uh, let's put in these values. Let's start with the first term. So the first term is x. So I'm going to write all of them, multiply all of them by x. So we're going to write x to this x to this one and then x right here and x here and then x now the rule is the first term the exponent of the first term should go down starting from six so i go six five four three two one and zero now i will write the second term two y so i'm gonna write two y to each of them and then two y right here so this is 2y, this is another 2y, this is another 2y right here to each of the um, parts here. So that's 2y. Now the exponent of the second term will be the other way around. We start from 0, then it's, it's going to go up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 
Now we are ready to simplify this. So we're going to start with 1, and then that is x squared. And then 2y to the 0 is just 1. Anything raised to the power 0 is 1. Next one right here, we got a 6, and then x to the 5th. And then 2y to the 1 is just 2y. And then we got 15, then x to the 4th. Then 2y squared is 4y squared. And then we got the 20, and then x to the 3rd. And then 2y to the 3rd is 8y to the 3rd power, because you have a 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And then we got a 15x squared. We got 2y to the 4th is 16. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So that is 16y to the 4th. And then 6x to the 1 is just x. 2y to the 5th, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times, is 32. So this is 32y to the 5th. And then 1x to the 0, anything raised to the power 0 is just 1. And then 2y to the 6 would be 64 y to the 6th. Okay, and then from here, we can already simplify it. So 1 times x times x squared is just x squared. No, this is supposed to be, oops, this is a 6 right here. So that's a 6. So this one right here should be a 6. So that's a 6. x to the 6. And then this is plus 12 x to the 5th and y and then plus 15 times 4 is 60 60 x to the 4 y squared plus 20 times 8 is 160 x to the third y to the third plus 15 times 16 is 240 x squared y to the fourth plus 6 times x times 36 times 32 is 192. We got an x and y to the fifth. And then the last one here is 1 times 1 times 64 is 64y to the sixth power. So this is the expanded version of this binomial, which is raised to the power 6 using the Pascal triangle. In this answer that we have here, this is our first term. This is the second term. This is the third term, fourth term, fifth, sixth, and seventh term. So we call each of these as terms. So first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!